this is the first time I'm noticing this. What in the heck is this? What the heck is even that? Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today for this highlight video of the Good News Infinite Hope live stream I do every Friday. Please be sure to smash the like, hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and share the video. Thank you so much! So, uh, first things first. Uh, scientists have revived a plant from Pleistocene Epoch. This plant is 32,000 years old. Holy shamoli. Uh, I can't believe that they've done this. This is like some Jurassic Park-ish here. Uh, a few weeks ago, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a, uh, there was a tornado in Texas. And this kid's uh, truck got like blown into the wind. And it was, it was a viral video. Um, what in the heck is this? I don't, I don't know. That reminds me of that like propane bot from King of the Hill. This thing is freaky. This is the first time I'm noticing this. What in the heck is this? What the heck is even that? It looks so creepy. Oh my god, I just noticed it. Um, but anyways, so this kid, a uh, teen whose truck was tossed around in a tornado, is gifted a new ride. Uh, a Texas teen whose red truck was flipped around by a tornado, has been gifted a brand new truck. Uh, this was the video of, of him uh, being flipped around. There he is. That's him. He, he's in that truck. He's getting pummeled by the wind. But the, but the truck survived. And he survived. Uh, this was crazy. This is basically the video that shows him getting it. Uh, I can't stop looking at this robot thing now. I feel like it's staring them down uh, and wanting to kill everyone uh, when it gets a chance. Uh, personally, this video is uh, freaking me the hell out right now. But uh, other than that, uh, that's great. That's great. These people are really nice. They gave him a truck. He survived. And then he got another truck. But this is a really interesting bit of news because I don't know if you guys have heard, but apparently dogs are able to sniff cancer. Well, here's another one. Here's another story that says tiny Yorkshire Terrier detects breast cancer in a woman jumping up and down on her chest in alarm. Uh, and it ends well. The story ends well. A Yorkshire Terrier saved her owner's life after jumping up and down on her chest to alert her to a cancerous lump. Uh, next story. Now this one, this one is so cool. I love this story. I was like, I'm a huge fan of Prince and this story was magnificent. I couldn't believe it. Um, and I'm going to share this story with you now. This is, this is, this is some cool stuff. This is what journalism used to be. And I love it because this is, this is the stuff old journalism was made of to like track this kind of stuff down and do this. We're going to listen to this story. It says news station discovers that they interviewed Prince when he was 11 years old. Um, and this is this is the story. You are about to watch one of the most fortunate strokes of luck ever here at WCCO. A mysterious gem unearthed on accident, giving people a glimpse into Minneapolis history through the eyes of a young musical icon. While we all had a feeling who this young boy might be, we knew we needed help from those who knew him best. It's a journey and story you'll only see here on WCCO. How cool. Deep in the WCCO film archives are hundreds, if not thousands, of opportunities to travel back in time. And on one reel, a treasure lay hidden, untouched, for 52 years. 52 April 1970, years. Minneapolis Public Schools educators went on strike. We restored the film to offer context to the educator strike that happened in the same district just last month. Okay, so there's the governor's mansion. So again, this all happened, like, the, you know, this came about, this is a serendipitous thing. This came about completely 
on something like completely unrelated, right? And this guy's doing his journalism. He's doing his thing. This is what journalism used to be. They're doing research based on what happened there before, trying to connect the dots. And he happens to come across this. That's kind of cool. Matt Liddy is WCCO's production manager. I grew up in Minneapolis, so all I cared about was looking at cool old buildings from the place I grew up. But his curiosity turned into a discovery when he saw a reporter interviewing kids as teachers picketed in the background. And it was this young boy jumping around Look, and later answering a question who left Liddy speechless. So then I, I immediately just went out to the newsroom and started showing people and saying, I'm not going to tell you who I think this is, but who you think this is, and every single person, Prince. We didn't have the right equipment to hear the film, so a specialist helped us extract the audio, and then we heard his voice. Are most of the kids in favor of the picketing? Yep. How come? Um, I think they should get a better education too, cause, um, and I think they should get some more money because they work, be working extra hours for us and all that stuff. Our excitement was oh palpable. My. We did not get him saying, I'm Prince Nelson. Cue our investigation. And that's all I feel. My name is Ronnie Kitchen. We got to find him. Ronnie Kitchen. So they started doing journalism. Surely he could confirm our quest. Hi, this message is for Ronnie Kitchen. Still happens. But the phone numbers and addresses while. we found were dead ends. You hear something in the background, but there's no one there. How about a picture? A yearbook photo showing Prince as a fifth grader popped up online. He would have been 10 or 11 in this picture, and he would have been 11 during the strike, which is when that interview happened. We needed an expert. I just heard back from Kristen. Uh, she's a historian when it comes to Prince. A dedicated fan. They called him Skipper. Yeah. Who used her professional research skills to piece together the Purple One's life. Once again, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this highlight video of the Good News Infinite Hope livestream. Please be sure to smash the like, hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and share the video so we can get more people involved in the positivity. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye!